Hello people of the world, and hello to my newest subscribers. Thank you for visiting this little part of the internet. I don't know who you guys are, most of you are anonymous and so mysterious, but welcome. This is my first upload in more than two months. It's been a while. I've noticed that my videos of reviewing comic printers have been helping people out, which is cool. Before we go any further, I'd like to let you know that my short comic eel is on Gumroad for $3, so go check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. Colder weather has arrived here on the east coast. It's been such a welcome from the swampy, humid weather, and it means that I can go on jogs again without fearing the mosquitoes. And boy do I need to exercise. I am a dumpling right now. <laughs> So anyway, each year, as autumn creeps closer, my inner witch gets so excited. So I've been making preparations, as you'll see later in this video. Art-wise, I've been working on a new short comic, and I'm in the stage where I'm tightening the pencils. What you see on the screen right now is page 8 of 32 pages. And this is a story that's been stored away for years, and I'm glad to be finally working on the art for it. I've also been working on a new digital illustration, which you'll see some process footage of after the comic penciling. A strange thing I've noticed, and that you may relate to, is that some or many family members and friends in our lives just don't seem to care about our art making. You're an indie artist, and you're pouring your blood, sweat, and tears into making a project, but when you post about it, whatever. They don't care, there's no comment or anything. And yet, here I am, encouraging them and showing my support when they do even the most mundane things in their lives. Why is that? I'd be curious to hear if any of you out there are in a similar position. Something else I've realized is that I don't have to get into a convention every year. What I should be doing is producing an ample amount of work to show before I go exhibit somewhere. When I attended SPX last year, I noticed that the same artist who exhibited the year before that had almost no new art to show, if at all. It's because of this, by the way, that I don't think so many table spots should be determined by random lottery. I'm hoping that when I go to SPX this coming September, many of the artists will be different, new, <laughs> and have a lot of new stuff to show. I've been totally itching to table again though. I, I miss the excitement of setting up my table, meeting the booth neighbors, having a coffee in hand as the first stream of customers come through, and of course, in getting to see all the gorgeous art. If you think you've got a few nice works in your inventory, don't be afraid to apply for a local comic slash art convention. It's a fun experience, even if you don't end up making a lot of sales. So that's it for this voiceover. Keep watching until the end and I'll show you my fall preparation. Alright, time for the music.
Summer is coming to an end here on the East Coast and before all the plants die out, I wanted to collect some to dry and use as decoration. I have sunflowers here that I got from Trader Joe's that I'm drying and acorn branches I got from my walks around the neighborhood. And once it dries, it's gonna look more like the sky over here, which I collected a little earlier. And I think this is better than buying plastic fake plants from the store when you just you can just take this from outside. Fall is my favorite season of the year. Um, it really makes me feel very cozy, especially when I'm surrounded by dried plants that I've collected, things that I've collected from nature whether they're from the sea or the earth. I think make nice additions to any home. 
We also found branches like these outside and I'm pretty sure at a place like Michael's they'd be selling this for 10, 12 dollars a stick. I don't know. <laughs> Look at these cute double ones. 